Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson Documentation Required at Proposal Stage. In the life insurance industry, we deal with a large number of forms and documents. In this video, we will learn about various documents used at the proposal stage. First is a prospectus. It is a formal legal document used by insurance companies that provides details about the product. It is an introductory document which helps the prospective policyholder to get familiar with the company's products. The prospectus used by a life insurance company should state the following. The terms and conditions. Scope of benefits, guaranteed and non-guaranteed. The entitlements and the exceptions. Whether the plan is participative or non-participative. Next is Proposal Form. It is defined as an application document which contains all the facts that are binding on both insurer and policyholder and failure to appreciate its contents can lead to adverse consequences in an event of claim settlement. Material for the purpose of these regulations shall mean and include all important, essential and relevant information in the context of underwriting the risk to be covered by the insurer. It is important to note that IRDAI defines and designs the proposal form whereas the content of the form is left open to the discretion of the insurance company. The agent is the primary underwriter. All material facts and particulars about the policyholder need to be revealed by the agent in his or her report. Matters of health, habits, occupation, income and family details need to be mentioned in the report. In many cases, policyholder has to be medically examined by a doctor of the insurance company. Details pertaining to physical features like height, weight, blood pressure, cardiac status, etc. are recorded and mentioned by the doctor in his report called the Medical Examiner's Report. The Medical Examiner's Report is required typically when the proposal cannot be considered under non-medical underwriting because the sum proposed or the age of the proposed life is high or there are certain characteristics which are revealed in the proposal which call for examination and report by a medical examiner. The underwriter of the insurance company thereby gets an account of the current health position of the life to be insured. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Documentation Required at Proposal Stage, we will learn about some more documents used at the proposal stage. Moral hazard is the likelihood that a client's behavior might change as a result of purchasing a life insurance policy and such a change would increase the chance of a loss. For this purpose, the company may require that a moral hazard report has to be submitted by an official of the insurance company. The risk of mortality in life insurance increases with age. Hence, age is a factor that insurance companies use to determine the risk profile of the life to be insured. Premiums are charged according to age proof. Some documents considered as standard age proofs are School or College Certificate Birth Certificate Extracted from Municipal Records Passport PAN Card Service Register Certificate of Baptism Certified Extract from a Family Bible if it contains the date of birth Identity Card in case of Defense Personnel or Marriage Certificate issued by a Roman Catholic Church When standard age proofs are not available, the life insurer may allow submission of a non-standard age proof like horoscope, ration card, an affidavit by the way of self-declaration or certificate from village panchayat. Money laundering is the process of bringing illegal money into an economy by hiding its illegal origin 
so that it appears to be legally acquired. The Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA 2002, came into effect from 2005 to control money laundering activities. It mentions money laundering as an offence which is punishable by rigorous imprisonment from 3 to 7 years and fine of up to rupees 5 lakhs. Each insurer is required to have an AML policy and accordingly file a copy with IRDAI. The AML program should include internal policies, procedures and controls, appointment of a principal compliance officer, recruitment and training of agents on AML measures and internal audit or control. Know Your Customer is the process used by a business to verify the identity of their clients. Banks and insurers are increasingly demanding their customers to provide detailed information in order to prevent identity theft, financial fraud and money laundering. The KYC documents required by the insurers are photographs, age proof, proof of address like driving license, passport, telephone bill, electricity bill, bank passbook, etc. Proof of identity like driving license, passport, voter ID card, PAN card, etc. and income proof documents in case of high-value transactions. Free look period is a period in which if the policyholder has bought a policy and disagrees to any terms and conditions of the policy, he or she can return it and get a refund subject to the following conditions. He can exercise this option within 15 days of receiving the policy document. He has to communicate to the company in writing. The premium refund will be adjusted for proportionate risk premium for the period on cover, expenses incurred by the insurer on medical examination and stamp duty charges. Here is a quick look at the topics covered in this chapter. Thank you.